Hello and welcome to Mac Production Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be guiding you through the process of um, creating this effect within Photoshop. We will be using different range of tools which you might or might not be aware of. Uh, this was a request on Facebook, um, so I decided to go ahead and make a tutorial on how to achieve this effect. Um, first of all, we will begin by uh, looking at ele which elements we're going to need to um, achieve this result so let's begin okay firstly I would just like to say that I have, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on explaining the tools which I'm going to use as you might already know if you do not know just let me uh, contact me at uh, mac underscore productions at hotmail.com um, and I will send you additional information of what the tool does and uh, how to use it okay uh, so let's begin by looking at the things that we are going that will require uh, that is required to achieve the effect. I'm quickly going to rush through this. Okay, <clears throat> it was first of all we're going to need an old paper texture, uh, which we're going to have as a background. Uh, we can find loads of these on Google. So if you just go into Google, type in old paper textures, and it should show up with thousands of results. And just choose uh, anyone you like and then uh, we're going to need uh, an image which we're going to be working with so for that image um, well I'm not going to use the same image this time I'm probably going to use another image which will make it a little bit more interesting so let's begin by opening up Photoshop and uh, loading our texture so I'm going to open up Photoshop and Bridge as these are two programs which I'm going to be using. Okay, that's Photoshop. Right. Let's get drag this here. Okay. Maximize this. Go on to Bridge. I'm going to load in the texture. Right, okay. So first of all, what you need is an image of yourself or any other object which you want to insert into the scene. Uh, and uh, so let's let me give you an example. Libraries. So if you have an image similar to this one, now this one already has a transparent background because when I rendered this image, uh, I cut out the black bits or white background or whatever background I had I don't seem to remember so first of all what you need to do is you need to use the pen tool to cut out your object so you don't have have anything related with the background so just cut 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 or what you can do is simply is just make simple basic outline of I know this is not perfect but I will explain why I'm doing it this way Okay, uh, as this is an example, I won't spend a lot of time perfecting it, so that's one of the reasons. The second reason is, uh, the reason this is not perfect is because you can always come in and choose this convert point tool. Uh, this is really useful because all I've done is I've just roughly created the outline of the image, of the image which I'm going to crop and remove the background. So I simply, I can go in and use this convert point tool to convert the points the way they are um, shaped. So simply, I can just click, select one corner, click on it, and drag. And you will see the, uh, uh, the both lines um, uh, moving, and you will be able to position it right. So simply, I'm just going to... And there we go. You can see that. Uh, there we go. Uh, that it's now perfectly lined, and I can repeat this process with throughout the rest of the um, the rest of the image cutting. So I'm just going to make this out here, and probably do the same with this one. And. Okay, so like this, let's see how it is. Correct this. Ok, 
Okay, that looks good. Just going to take this one and bring it a little in. So it's in the shape of the edge of the tire. Right, so simply that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repeat this process all the way around. And after you've done that, it doesn't matter if you pick the pen tool or you're using a convert point tool, just right click and click on make selection. What this will does is it will bring up another uh, window box and simply you're going to keep the pixel at zero, keep it at default and click OK. After doing this, it will create um, an outline on the selection that which you have made. Either you can create a new layer and, um, oh no, actually not create a new layer. What you can do is you can hold down Control Command on the Mac and press J. What this will do is this will uh, take your selection and bring it on to a new page, a new layer. And here you have it, you have the outline of the object. Okay, um, so simply after you've done that, just click and drag your object into the scene. Um, okay, and just hold down Shift and resize it to the size which you prefer. So for me, I'm going to use another image instead which I've already cut out and it's in perfect shape which is this one uh, so I'm going to drag this onto my uh, is it telling me it's going to load the resolution that's okay so this is the image that I want to use uh, actually you know I'm not going to change that okay um, right first of all let's begin by going on image and image adjustments and desaturate all the shortcut for that is shift Control command on the Mac and U. So shift control and U. This will desaturate the image. This is very important because the next step um, will be will give us the outcome which will be very uh, unexpected. So after desaturating the image and removing all the colors, uh, you, you have to go on filters, stylize, and, uh, and then go on fine edge. Uh, what will this will do is just remove the color and simply just make outline like a pencil type of uh, effect and get rid of all the colors. Right, at this stage we have the pencil effect that we want but we do not have, what we don't have is uh, the mixture of the background and the front layer. That is very simple. Simply we're going to click on our layer, so I'm going to rename this as Borghini. Okay. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to go into this uh, layer um, property and I'm going to choose this to multiply. And straight away we can see that uh, we have a very good effect so far. As we're, no matter where we drag it, it works with the background and we only have the pencil outline, which is great. There's still a little bit a little things that we can improve on. First of all, we can improve on the color of the outline. So let's go on image adjustments and hue saturation. The control the shortcut for it is control, command on the Mac, and U. So if we select our layer, control and U, it just will bring up the hue saturation um, window, and then we're going to click the colorize. Um, a tick box and then we in this in my case I'm going to take the lightness up a little bit as this would make these outlines a little bit more lighter we don't want it to be very dark because um, it doesn't give a very good effect so we just I'm just going to choose a brownish color which will kind of blend into the background so I'm using like I think we need to use 20 and I might use. I'm going to use uh, 15. I think I'll go with here. And I think I might take up a little bit more. Take up to 30. And I'll click OK. Right there we are. And um, a very simple and a quick tutorial uh, on how to create an old type of drawing using just two images really that is all that we that was required to achieve this effect very simple and uh, very effective so 
now you can go ahead and use this effect for your image and put it on Facebook or wherever you prefer and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please do let me know if there are any other requests that you would um, like a video tutorial of and uh, thank you very much for watching and leave comments and let me know if it was useful thank you very much I'm Hamid from Mac Productions and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial Thank <laughs> you.